Good morning, chap and cheers. It's uh, Monday the 8th today, last week before we get half term. Okay, we're still doing column subtraction and we will be doing it all week. This time we've got a three digit number and a two digit number, okay? And we are gonna have multiple exchanges, okay? The way I look at these numbers initially, I'm looking at the ones column. I know there's gonna be an exchange somewhere around there because the seven is, a, is less than nine. So if I've got seven or something, I can't take nine off it, away from it, okay? And again, I'm looking at the tens number. The 30 is less than the 60 in the, in the two digit number, so I know that there's going to have to be an exchange there okay so i'm thinking that the exchange is going to happen in the tens column and in the hundreds column okay so let's just go through it watch how i do it visually and let's see how these numbers are arranged once i start performing these exchanges so we'll start again with the ones column okay if i have seven okay which is in my ones column i cannot take away nine okay so i'm going to have to exchange i'm going to have to go to the tens column i'm going to have to take a 10 from the tens column okay and exchange it and place it in the ones column. Okay, so let's do that now. So I'm taking my one 10 away from my tens column and I'm exchanging it for 10 ones because 10 ones is 10. Okay, so there is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So now I have exchanged my 10, okay, from my tens column and I have exchanged it for 10 ones, okay? The values are the same. So now I have seven plus 10, so I now have 17 ones in my ones column. Visually, there are my 17, and that's what it looks like in our ones column, and I simply take off nine. So what I'm gonna do, I know that is, that was 10 I've just put, so I'll leave one and I'll remove nine, okay? So that now becomes the subtraction of 17 take away nine, and it should leave me with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hopefully that is correct. Okay, I've got eight left, eight goes in my ones column. Now I'll move on to my tens column. I've only got two tens, I need to take away six tens. I can't do it. So I'm gonna to have to exchange in my hundreds column. So let me remove 100, and we should all know that 100 is made up of 10 tens. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, flying across, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So one 100 equals 10 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I now know I've now got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 tens in my tens column. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, and I can simply take away six. Okay, so I'll take away 30 and another 30, that makes 60. Taking away six tens or 60, and I am left with one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you should know this, this is number bonds. Okay, six take away 12 is six. Okay, now left with my hundreds. Okay, so I should have done that exchange and shown you that exchange. I've only got 400 left in my hundreds column. I'm not taking away any hundreds. So I'm still left with 400. So the answer is 468, okay? So that is an exchange with multiple exchanges, okay? So there were two exchanges. Initially, we went to the ones column by exchanging with our tens, and then we exchanged 100 for 10 tens, okay? And that's how we do it, okay? So best of luck with that.